Today I'm gonna to teach you probably the most important trick for rewiring homes, and it's this trick right here. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but these are actually used, if you're using them correctly, they're used to hold up insulation. And you can get them in 24, 18s, probably 16s. And what they do is, is when you install insulation in a home underneath or anywhere in the walls and you want it to hold, you'll literally push this up, it squeezes in between the two rafters or floor joists, and it will actually hold the insulation. But what we use it for in the rewiring world is we use them for flags. And I'm gonna teach you what that means in just a second. So you're gonna get one of these here, and remember, don't ever repeat anything in these videos, just use them for educational purposes only. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these, I usually buy about the 18 inches, and I'm literally gonna screw it right into my drill. And what this is gonna do is provide the best method for locating an area when you're rewiring a home. We're coming in and cutting in receptacles that were never here before. If you notice here, now this plaster is very soft, so the holes, um, you know, we just do the best we can. We have a little bit more to cut probably there with the saw. But what I've done is I've plotted out, I use my story pole like I've taught you in the past. I've plotted out where I want my receptacle and I've made sure to use the technique that I taught you on Monday. I made sure that there were no studs in the way. I've cut my receptacle hole out, but now I have to get a wire down to that location. And that's where this comes in. Now you can do this in a finished home. This home is gonna get completely new trim, so I've got a lot of fudge room, but you can do this if the trim is even there. You can slide right behind the trim with this, okay? So what you're gonna do is, is you're gonna install this and you're gonna get on a ladder and you're gonna do that right there. Luke, if you'll shoot up top there. What you're gonna do is you're actually going to send this up into the attic. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna tell you where it's located in the attic. You also can use these to go through the floor. So if I'm installing floor receptacles and I'm wiring them from underneath, I will literally come here. I can come either to the edge of the trim here or I can come on the back side of this trim and you may have to get a longer one. This is pretty excessive trim here. But you can literally sneak right behind the trim and all you end up with is with a tiny hole. In houses that are gonna be retrimmed, you can walk right to the trim, screw it right down through the floor, then go down in the basement and it will let you know where the flag comes up. We're gonna head upstairs here in just a second. I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the other end. Okay, guys, so we're up here in the attic and I wanna show you what it looks like on the other end. Now, you're gonna come up with the flag just in front of the top plate. So I go over two and a half inches. This is a six inch wall. I go over two and a half inches. I drill down, and if you, you can't see it down in there, but down in there is going to be the wall plate, and you should be able to see your wall plate. So as, you know, if you've got a two by four wall, measure over inch and a half, drill straight down, you're gonna be inside the wall cavity. Then we use this, and what we do is use glow rods, and we screw them together, and we'll shove a glow rod down the wall, and I'll show you what those are here in just a second. But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll shove a glow rod down the wall, and what that will do is allow us, someone to go downstairs, stick their hand through the hole, grab the glow rod, then you just tape onto the glow rod, you pull the wire up, in this case we just use something to fish it with, later we'll tie the Romex straight on. I'll get the glow rods now and I'll show you what they look like. Hey guys, so these are what the glow rods look like. So what they are is just fish sticks and they literally screw together on the end. In this case, because of the height of the ceiling, we end up screwing all three of them together and we literally shove it down that hole that we drilled. Someone goes downstairs, stick their hand in, pulls it out, tapes the wire on, we pull the wire on, then we move on to the next location. This is your pro tip of the day. Let's go ahead and get to it.